guys, today I want to do a review on the new Rimmel lipsticks uh, by Kate. Or no, the new Kate lipsticks by Rimmel. And they came out with two new formulas. They have a long lasting eight hour, um, like vibrant color lipsticks. And I got two of those colors. Let me just do quick swatches. I got number one and number nine. One is just your typical um, red and it's pretty vibrant. With one swatch, it's quite opaque. And then this is like a deep berry color. Those are beautiful. They're nice and shiny. They claim to last up to eight hours. And then they came out with these new velvety matte finishes. And I got a few more of these colors because I, I, I like matte better. I prefer matte. I, believe that they last longer. If you watched my last video, I was wearing this color, number 113. A really great nude, but it has a pink undertone. Here is 101. It's an everyday soft pink. Number 104, it's a mauve. I think this is a great everyday color for me, at least. I prefer these kind of colors. 110, which is a, like an orangey red, more orange than red. <laughs> and it's very bright and vibrant. Right, oddly enough, this is the only one that has a name. It's called Kiss of Life. And it's just your um, typical red lipstick. And the prices for these are quite reasonable. They range from four to six dollars depending on where you go. So I'm gonna test out both and see which one I like better or if I even like any of them. I have both reds. I have number 111 of the matte color and then number one of the lasting finish. And on my left, I'm gonna do the matte. Oh, it smells so good. It has like this fruity scent and it feels velvety. This one went on very smooth. It has the same scent. And then on my right side, this one just feels very moisturizing. And I mean, they're both pigmented. It looks like the... Hi to mommy. <laughs> the long lasting one, which um, claims to last up to eight hours. It is a deeper color, whereas the velvet matte one is brighter. But what else? I'm just gonna wear this today anyways. So it is about 12, 15 in the afternoon. I will check back in a few hours. It is just about three o'clock. I've had this lipstick on for a few hours now. And it looks pretty good. It hasn't bled outside the lines of my lips. Oh, well look at there. You can see which side transfers less. It looks like the matte side, or the velvety matte side, has less transfer. Okay, I just got done with lunch and obviously, the lipstick didn't hold up. But both sides, does it look like one side has more lipstick than the other? Huh? Yes? Oh, uh... They both look pretty equal, so... I'll just reapply both. We just got out of lunch and I reapplied both lipsticks, the matte velvet on my left, and then the regular long lasting on the right. It is 4.30. I'll check back at the end of the night. It's the end of the day. It's about 8.30 in the evening. I do notice the lipstick starting to bleed on the outside of my lips, more so on the right side with the long last lasting finish. It's weird that they would call this a matte finish because it doesn't really look like a matte finish to me. I could still see the light reflecting off the lipstick. As I showed you earlier, transfer-wise, you get more transfer from this lipstick 
than the matte one. I think the color payoff is beautiful on both. It goes on evenly, it's smooth, they smell really nice too, and the pigmentation is just beautiful. I do believe they are long-lasting lip colors if you're not eating anything. Otherwise, it comes off just like any other lipstick. If I were to choose one over the other, I would choose the matte colors just because it's less transfer. So that's pretty much it for my review of the Kate Rimmel lipsticks. Please thumbs up if you found this video helpful and comment below what video you would like to see next. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, thumbs up. Also, check out my vlogging channel. It's Judy's Life. Just click on my little cutie bear's face. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, honey, you look like a freak. <laughs> <laughs>